is the story of the man who first raised the American flag, carried it across the new continent that was to be our own United States. He opened the West and protected the pioneers, laid the iron rails across the plains and over the hills. He built the Panama Canal, our protector in time of war, our counselor in time of peace. He is the American soldier. Where does he come from, this man of many thousands? He comes from the mountains. He comes from the farm. He comes from the city. He may be the son of your neighbor across the street. Farms, cities, men from everywhere, from all walks of life, joining up, pledging their allegiance to this, their native land. Great. Taylor, that Corbett. You men have chosen the Army for a career. To agree wholeheartedly to pay strict attention to duty. To be willing and obedient, and to pull together with your fellow soldiers at all times. I'll now administer the oath of enlistment. Raise your right hands, please. Repeat your names. Hi. James Taylor. Harvey Briggs. Thomas Stanton. Chuck Corbett. Your full name, please. OK, Charles Corbett. A citizen of the United States do hereby acknowledge voluntarily to have enlisted as a soldier in the regular army of the United States of America. You're in the army now. You're not behind the plow. You'll never get rich a day in a ditch. You're in the army now. <laughs> Who wants to get rich? It's a living, isn't it? Sure, and a free ride on the train and that dinner in the diner wasn't bad either. Wish we'd hurry up and get there. Oh, can't wait to be a soldier, huh? What's the matter, Chuck? Something wrong? No, no, I feel great. I asked for it and I'm getting it. A free ride. Three square meals a day. The Presidio, San Francisco, United States Army Post. Here comes more work for the best sergeant on the post. Hello. Well, well, what are we here? Four little boys who want to grow up and play soldier. When do we eat? Later, son. Come along with me and I'll make you all generals. Make up your bags. You say generals carry their own bags? You ain't that yet. Maybe the new uniform will make you feel like one. Pick them up. Right up the counter, get your stuff. Yes, sir. You're next, hop up. Don't tell me I gotta wear these satchels. They ain't for toe dancing, they're for marching. Ah, they're too big. That's only your opinion. Put this on your right shoulder. What you put down here on this big How's that feel? Suit yourself. And after this, it's the showers. We're gonna get some of that civilian dirt off you. From now on, it'll be nothing but army dirt. Put on your pants. All right, come on. Now the blouses. Come on, come on, get on your blouse. All right, all right, I'll get there. Now your caps. Three, four, squad, hold. Come on now, get some snap into it. You're like a bunch of old women. Right shoulder, hands. Right shoulder, your right shoulder breaks. Order, hands. Hey, Sarge, I... Quiet. That back in line. How many times have I got to tell you, Corbett? You're not to speak when you're standing at attention. Well, I'm not at attention anymore. Take a rest. Besides, I need a smoke. You'll need more than smoke before I get through with you. Now, come on, stand at attention. Get some snap into it. Right shoulder, arm. Forward, hands. Over 
way you're training by me is to start you thinking like a good soldier and acting like one, if that's possible. The fact that you men just joined any regiment, you're lucky. This is a crack regiment, out of its name in time of war and peace. Sergeant Clicker, is it possible for us to enroll in the instruction classes for special training? So you'll get some stripes, eh? Yeah, after 40 years. You're crazy, Chuck. You don't know what you're talking about. You can go to school, learn most anything you want to right here on the post. Radio and aeronautics. Do you realize there's a military school where you can study for entrance to West Point right here? Quiet, quiet. I'll do the talking. And now for a few points of interest. Over there is the famous Golden Gate. Gateway to the Far East and the world. And do you see that building? That's the Officers Club. The oldest building in San Francisco. Built in 1776, the year this post was founded. So you might say that this post and the USA is twins, both being born in the same year. And Chuck, on your feet. That is. I'll teach you the rifle salute later on. I don't have to tell you, man, that that was the colors. And the blue flag with the gold eagle there's the regimental flag, the banner of the outfit. And they'll be marching at Treasure Island to show the folks at the World Fair how the Army does it. Grand, grand Oh, goodbye, sir. It's nice to see you back. See you later. Hey, mister, got a cigarette? Oh, yes. You must be a new man here. Yep, first day. Hmm? How do you like the Army? With the rest of the Army's like that old bird up there, I guess it's pretty tough. Me, I don't go for that hero stuff joined up, so I guess it doesn't make any difference whether I like it or not. And another thing... Why is that? What do you think they made me do yesterday? I was supposed... Sorry, sir, you'll have to excuse this man's insolence, Colonel Nielsen. What do you mean, insolence? Colonel? Yes. How was I to know? Just coming back from leave. That's why I'm out of uniform. Carry on, Sergeant. Yes, sir. Put that on. Come with me. making me nursemaid to a coffee pot that took away my privileges for a week. Oh, easy, will you, Chuck? That's my new uniform. Hey, Sarge, I hear Mr. Carbot is a personal friend of the Colonel's. Well, I do know that him and the Colonel smoke the same brand of cigarettes. All right, all right, you guys, have your fun. You're breaking my heart. Look out what you're What's doing. What's the big idea? Why, you little pad, relax. They couldn't help it. Walker bumped into him. I wonder. Uh, fine, sir. Well, don't think. Sit down and eat. Thanks, Sarge. Maybe it get on you? Too bad. That does it. Hiya, Chuck. Gonna start another game. Grandma Q and we'll be partners. Okay. I think I'll take in a movie. Me too. Don't let me break up the game. I don't crave your company either. <laughs> Bit of mad, huh? You're break, Jimmy. Right. So the days passed, and the weeks, and they learned the business of soldiering for Uncle Sam. Heads up, shoulders back. Company A swung along with men from the hills and the farms and the cities in line. The boy from across the street worked with one thought in mind. May I ask a question, sir? Yes, sure. In number nine, are the exact dates required or just approximate periods? Question nine, the exact dates are required. Stripes and more stripes. And one day, maybe, an officer in his country's army. Briggs 
going back. That's your son. Get ahead. Okay, Dad. Oh, uh, by the way, I have news for you. Your buddy gets out of the guardhouse today. Corbin? Good. How are you, Chuck? Fine. Just in time for mess. Let's go get it before they throw it away. I'm not hungry. What's on your mind, Chuck? I know it's a tough break being in the guardhouse. The guardhouse is all right. At least they don't walk out on me there. Well, I'll admit you're pretty much alone. But if you ask me, it's your own fault. There's a chip on your shoulder all the time. The boys all say that. I know, they've got it in for me. Well, I can get along without them, too, see? I'm skipping out. Desertion? What do you think? Can't be bad. Why not? I'm getting fed up with this. Remember what old Click said about that bridge over there? The gateway to the world? I think he's got something there. Man, this is your first day of field radio instruction. We'll work in that wooded area above the barracks. Where's Corbin? I haven't seen him, Sarge. Wait here. You see him, Corbin? No, thanks. Corbett, Chuck Corbett. Not here, Sergeant. Take your men, Scott. Go down about 50 yards to set up your equipment. We'll contact you from here. Okay, man, let's go. Break, you open up your set box there and plug in your earphones. Taylor, you connect that loop antenna. Dawson, you get to work on the hand generator. Now, boys, take it easy. Make your movement slow and sure. We'll work for speed later on. Blocking this road up here. There's a detour sign back there. Didn't you see it? No, I didn't see no detour sign. Maybe sure you can't hope. read. I'll tell you away. I sure hope we're a good backer up here, Jim. So do I. Chuck, loosen up, will you? You're practically a hero. I'll can that stuff. I was a dope. What'd I get out? When you guys are marching at the fair, I'll be taking a rap. The big one. You suppose you think I'm a sissy bringing them flowers? Hello, Chuck. How are you? Here's some roses for you, Corbett. Don't blame me. The whole platoon put in for them. Private Carpet is here. Bring him in. Leave the prisoner. At ease. Well, Corbett, we meet again. Only this time it's more serious. The charge is desertion. I say again because I remember your first day at the Presidio. And uh, it may surprise you to know I've thought about you a lot. Not just because it's you, but because you happen to represent a type that we have to contend with in the army. 
You thought you'd join the army so you could eat three times a day, have a place to sleep, and clothes to wear. But the minute you signed up, you took on an obligation, not only to the army and to your country, but to your regiment. This flag is a symbol of your regiment. Come closer to it. Do you know what it means? Sure, every regiment's got one. Shows what outfit's marching by. That isn't all it means. You haven't explained why hundreds of men have given their lives for that few yards of silk and gold thread. See these? Decorations for special bravery under fire. Sammy Hill, Mews are gone. You're talking about war. If there's fighting to be done, I'll be there with the rest of them. But you've got to understand, Corbett, in time of peace, this flag stands for the same ideals as in time of war. The men who fought under it, died under it, dedicated their lives to the peace we now enjoy. That's what this flag means. It stands for peace and the preservation of the American way. You're not bad, Corbett. I think you've got the stuff in you. I believe you'll be a good soldier. But somehow, I must make you feel all that flag means. That's why I'm going to let you carry it tomorrow. Me, sir? Yes. While you're carrying it, I want you to hold on to it tightly. Remember its motto. Our country, not ourselves. <laughs> The Sunset Gun. As each man stands at arm salute, the flag is lowered from the staff. He pledges allegiance to that flag to defend his country from all enemies, foreign or domestic. As old glory comes down from its staff, the detail of men in charge sees to it that no part of the flag touches the ground. Respectfully, they gather its folds to them. Now they fold it carefully, twice on its longer axis. Then the flag is folded corner to corner into the shape of a triangle or cocked hat worn by the soldiers in the Revolutionary War, thus perpetually commemorating the days of 1776. The blue is the point of honor of the flag, so the red and the white stripes are folded into the blue as the white of the day folds into the blue of the night. true patriot be proud of these American soldiers as they are proud of their service with the colors.